Hi everybody, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a hamster update and cage tour. And honestly, I'm so sorry that it took so long for me to do this. I should have done it like a month and a half ago. <laughs> I was getting a lot of comments that was suggesting things that I already did or that I already changed. So I wanted to make this video so that you guys can see how Queso's thriving. Also, I know there are a lot of like hamster people and people who've owned hamsters for a long time in my comments in the last video. So if that's you, please stick around to the end because I have a few questions and I'd like some advice. <laughs> but let's get right on into the cage tour. So I actually just cleaned Queso's cage so it looks super super clean and nice. Over here we have like I think six to eight inches of bedding and obviously as he tunnels and burrows and stuff it will like inflate more too and it'll be higher. And then up on top of his little shelf I've been watching him super super carefully and he has not even come near the fence at all so I think it is okay. Like, he just goes up here and he just chews on his toys. He goes back down. He just likes running up it and then running back down. And he's able to run up the ladder super fine every time. So, I think he's definitely okay with this little platform. Okay, sorry it's so dark, but now there's no reflection. So, underneath his little ramp, he has his little house and a toilet paper tube so that there's not as much light that can get into there. And then I have a bunch of different toys for him, including his taco, because his name is Queso. And then this is actually a toilet paper tube. It goes all the way down underneath his house. And I wasn't sure if he would use it when I put it in for the first time, but he actually really loves it. And then like last time I had it set up the similar way. And when I took that out, there were like a bunch of tunnels underneath that connected it all. Anyways, he's just so cute. So then he has this little sand bath and I put it, I tried to put it down as deep as it can go so that it's kind of like a little extra level of you know like terraforming or whatever <laughs> and then this is a bendable bridge that i got and he really 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 loves it he loves running down it into the sand and then running back up it and i made it so that it's a tunnel to the other side as well and then i gave him another toilet paper too because he really loves them and running through them all and he has his wheel and by the way i saw some comments saying that his back would bend on this wheel but he's the tiniest little thing and his back definitely does not bend i'm very careful i know what that looks like and i'm making sure he's not growing into his back being able to bend but it's definitely a perfect size wheel for him right now and then i have his little food dish which is just like a mason jar lid and then his water and my favorite thing is when he runs on his wheel and he likes to jump in into the sand bath from it so that's why <laughs> I have it set up so close so that he's able to do that every night. It doesn't look like there's a lot of bedding in here, but that's just because this is like an inch higher than where it starts. So there is actually a ton of bedding everywhere. Um, I definitely have added more since the first time I got him. And I got a lot of comments saying there weren't enough toys and stuff for him to play with. I wasn't actually done with that yet. I just wanted him to get comfortable before I made it too scary for him. I don't know. I was worried about that. But that later that night, I added a bunch of stuff before he played and stuff during the night because he's nocturnal and here's queso's little cage tour hey guys um my cat Haley wanted to come say hi <laughs> sorry if she's purring and you can hear that but okay so i have a few questions so i've had queso for more than two months and he still doesn't like like me and i'm fine if he doesn't want to be held or like played with i was doing a lot of research on how to get him to like trust me and like like me and a lot of them were like feeding him out of my hand and he does that sometimes i've been doing it every day like consistently and sometimes he takes it out of my hand but sometimes he just doesn't want to and every time i clean the cage i literally keep him in there because i don't want to pick him up and i hi <laughs> because I don't want to pick him up and make him upset if he like wants to stay in there but I don't know if he's scared of me because sometimes he'll let me like touch him anyways if anyone can give me some advice on how to make him more comfortable with me I'd really appreciate it because I just love him so much and I just want to hold him but he doesn't seem like he wants to be held at all so I obviously don't want to hold him if he doesn't want to and it's fine really if he doesn't ever come around but i just i want him to know how much i love him <laughs> but i just wanted to thank everybody for all the advice on the last video most of the things by the time people commented them i already had changed them just because 
like when I first set it up I just had a few things in there because I was waiting for his house to come in the mail but even though I already did a lot of the things people were saying I really 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 do appreciate it and I just wanted to say he's good now he has on one side he has literally eight inches of bedding <laughs> And on the other side, I think it's about four. I can show you, ooh, maybe I'll show you it now because I did it yesterday morning and now it's like a little bit more fluffed up. So I'll show you it, um, an aftermath of him having a fun night in the, <laughs> in the new cage. Okay, so here's after one night. As you can see, it's super fluffed up now and he definitely has been having very much fun. And I clean this every single day. I like take it out and sift it with a little strainer so it's nice and clean for him. Um, as you can see, he really likes burrowing underneath the wheel even though he has all this house and all of these inches of bedding. But yeah, it's super deep and he really likes it. And there's a little tunnel. But once again, I just want to thank everybody for the advice. It's so sweet that you took time out of your day to want to help him and want to help me because I am new. I never claimed to be like a genius with hamsters or anything. Obviously, this is my first hamster I've ever had. And I just want to thank everybody for all the sweet, loving comments. Some of them were a little mean, but um, the rest were very sweet and made up for that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the love on that last hamster video. And I'm glad I can give you an update finally. I'm sorry it took so long. I will definitely do more in the future. But I love you all so, so, so much. And I will see you all next week. Bye!